Retail is a complex literacy skill which requires knowledge of vocabulary, uh, recalling, summarizing and comprehending. Uh, it teaches students how to sequence and organize information and builds oral language. Students use recall or retell in their daily life, whether it is to narrate an incident, whether it is to repeat instructions or even maintain a conversation and keep it relevant. In this video, we will look at certain steps to explicitly and proactively teach students the skill of retell. The first step at the beginner level is to simply show the students a series of pictures that tell a story. Everybody's eyes are on the board, looking at the picture for 30 seconds, thinking, what do I see? Trying to make sense of the picture. What is happening? Once they have had enough time to see the pictures and make some sense of it, the teacher then tells the story through the pictures. So Emma decided to make some breakfast for herself. She loves to eat ketchup with her sausage. Then she bought the ketchup bottle and Emma tried to squeeze it so that the ketchup comes out. She squeezed the ketchup bottle really hard and the ketchup just wouldn't come out. Finally she squeezed the bottle so hard that all the ketchup got sprayed on her and she made a mess. In step 2, once they have listened to this story, we take the pictures away and ask them to recall and retell the story themselves in their own words. She squeezed really hard. She was squeezing the ketchup water really hard. Good remembering that detail. It was not coming up. Okay, so and then at the lunch, she, she spilled the straw on the right. In fourth picture, Step 3 is introducing them to the transition words used during retail, which allow them to put their thoughts in a sequence. First, next, then, finally. A visual of the transition words provides support to retail in the correct order. In step 4, we bring back the pictures and retell the story using the transition words. Next! Excellent one, Lisa. Next. She squeezed her ketchup bottle really hard. Yes. Good in step 5, we ask them to put the pictures in a correct sequence while retelling the story. This gives additional kinesthetic input which further strengthens their retelling ability and they apply their understanding in a concrete manner. Emma so much squeeze bottle. Okay. Don't ketchup. Ketchup didn't, uh, didn't come the, uh, out. 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 Finally, the students retell the story themselves using the transition words and the visual as an aid. First, Emma feel so much hungry. Emma make a hot dog with mashed potato. Then, it, she squeezed it. Joel said, even it harder. Even harder. Then, Come out. Finally, she squeezed it so hard that the ketchup burst open. <laughs> Once the students are familiar with the retail structure, we can take this strategy to a higher level. The teacher reads a story. The students listen and they retell using transition words they have learned without the use of a visual. Many students in India are not native speakers of English and are English language learners similar to a couple of students in this video. Strategies of using visual aids, providing transition words and using kinesthetic cues allow students to organize thoughts and express in English. Good job family! Alright, 